Let me show you how you can really easily preview or add any kind of tattoo on a human body. So let's roll that intro. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. In case you want to add any kind of tattoo on a human body for any kind of reasons, for example, you want to preview how it will look like if you want to tattoo yourself for real and you want to preview some different lighting conditions, etc. Or you just want to make some art like uh, interesting tattooed human body like we will do today. This is the easy and realistic way how you can do it. So let the fun begin. Okay, let's start with this image and let me show you the most simplest way how you can add a tattoo on human body. So first what you need to do is to find an image that you want to turn it into a tattoo. So I'll just use those flowers. Just for example, you can use whatever you want. So I will press L on a keyboard to select lasso tool and just select one of those flowers. For example, this one in the middle, copy it and go back and paste it right here. So now I need to press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac, make it smaller to fit the shoulder here. Let's make it even smaller. And for example, this is how I like my tattoo to look on this position. And now to make this uh, even more realistic, you just need to do one thing and that's to go from normal to multiply blending mode and bam, here it is. So easy, so fast, so simple. Guys, now you can see how this looks on the shoulder. For example, if you want to make this as a tattoo, of course, you can change the color, you can change contrast, you can change anything. So let's add here in saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the tattoo layer. So let's rename this uh, double T. All right. And that's it. So now what we need to do is just play with the colors. Don't go here, go here. All right. You can desaturate to have black and white version. You can go change the colors like this, or you can press and uh, actually click this colorize button and you can go to that yellowish tattoo color ink like this and that's it you're done so this is how this tattoo would look like on the shoulder but what for example if you want to move it to the back no problem at all just press ctrl or command t just select the tattoo okay and move it right here right click warp it and now you just need to play with with this setting so you can just move it full around with this and set it how this should be if it's on the shoulder right here. So like this, for example, that's good enough. Now you can add a layer mask, use a brush, 100% opacity, black color, and just hit a little bit harder brush, just erase unnecessary parts right here. They're floating in the air. And that's it, guys. Now you have a preview of that tattoo, how it would look like if it would be on the back. So that's great or back in a color. Okay. Now let me show you a little bit more complex example. So if you want to make a tattoo on a whole human face and uh, make it to look really realistic, this is how you can do it. First thing that you need to do is to find a proper image and then you need to select the part of the skin that you want to add a tattoo on it. And in this case, I will select everything that is skin on this girl because I want to add tattoo on whole skin parts. So to, I already did that. As you can see right here, I already made a selection just to save time for this tutorial. But if you're not familiar how to select things in Photoshop, you already had that tutorial. You can watch my tutorial about how to select basically anything in Photoshop. You can find the link right here. Go watch it and come back and do this job how it should be. So now what we need to do, we need to find some photo that we like as a tattoo. I choose this crazy flowerish photo and we need to add this layer mask to the tattoo photo. So I will just drag right here and now the photo will affect only the skin parts. And as we did in the previous example, we need to move from a normal blending mode to multiply and we are done. That's it guys. Actually not even close. We are now lacking of some highlights and shadows information of the human skin. So this is why this looks so flat. And to add those highlights and shadows back, we will do one really interesting trick. So the trick is in that, that you will copy the background layer, the girls layer, just press control command J and move it all the way up. And now you need to copy this same mask to this layer because you want just uh, to take parts of the skin, nothing else. So I will press alt or option key on a Mac, just drag the mask, release it. And that's it. 
Now you need to move this layer, actually the blending mode of this layer from normal all the way to hard light, not soft light, not overlay, nothing else, just hard light and you will have much, much better result. As you can see guys, this is already better, but we need to do another step. We need to go even more further to make this looks to, to look even better. So we need to desaturate the human skin because we want only to play with the lightness information. We don't want color information at all. So to desaturate this, you can do it in several different ways. I will use a keyboard shortcut, Shift, Control, U or Shift, Command, U on a Mac. And here we are, that's it. As you can see guys, now it's much better before and after this looks really, really nice. We have all the information about the highlights, about the shadows, everything looks how it should be. And of course, now you can lower the opacity if this is too much, if this is too bright maybe for you, you can lower and play with the opacity. I will just leave it like probably around 90%, 90, 90 92 is okay, or all the way up to 100, doesn't matter. And now we can take this photo even further. One thing that you can do, you can add a displacement map to this uh, flower tattoo to make this uh, tattoo uh, looks like it's wrapped around the nose, lips, etc. That uh, to looks to look even more realistic. So if you want to do that, go and search my tutorial about displacement maps and you will see how you can do that. I will not do that right here because it will not make so drastic a difference, but on some photos it will help a lot. So just have that in mind. All right now we can play with the colors. Now we'll take this photo even further and play with some colors. So to do that, let's go to the tattoo layer and add hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the texture down below. And now you can play with the colors, right? With the hue, we can play with saturation. We can lower that to have black and white version of this. As you can see, this is really interesting, really, really good looking photo. Or you can add a little bit of the color or you can even colorize it. So you can choose that greenish look and like more like a real tattoo. That's one thing. Another thing is that you can add curves adjustment layer, for example, and play with the contrast. So let's do that. Let's go right here and add curves adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the uh, this flower wallpaper and you can play with the contrast. So you can make this even better. So however you want, right? And you're ready to finalize this image if you want. Of course, again, you can play with the colors. You can really, really make this however, however you want. Right, now I will show you some bonus tips here. I will show you how you can take this even further to another level by playing with some blending modes. So you can really make some piece of artwork, artwork out of this. So let me show you that. For example, if you go from uh, with the curves from normal blending mode, look at the image here, from normal to color, you will have a little bit better result. Like the, 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 that tint of the ink, it's even more uh, merged with the skin. It's even better. So then you can play again with some contrast to add even better look. So you can do that. You can change to luminosity if you want. You will have more contrasty look, better impact if that's what you're looking for and so on and so forth, multiply even darker etc. So I will go back to normal and then let me show you what you can do if you go with the hue and saturation and change some blending modes. If you go with the color blending mode, again you can see something different before and after a little bit different. So let me show back. I went a few steps back. If you go instead of color, if you go to for example difference, then you will have some crazy results. As you can see, guys, this is really, really crazy. And you can change the saturation, you can change the hue, you can get something really good like this, and you can even change the lightness in this case, and you will have, again, completely different results. You can scroll through all those results. Maybe this one, it's not bad, but you can you can play and, and really make this to, to look something unique and special. And of course, you can uncheck this colorize and make everything crazy dark. So that's that's another way. Of course, you can play with uh, lightness to achieve again different results, saturation, hue, etc. So I will go back to this look, go back to normal, and I will go back from difference. Of course, try other blending modes. I encourage you to try something else. You will be surprised what kind of results you will get. So I will go back to normal, and I will lower the saturation. And this is something that I will finish for today, just 
like a regular tattoo look like this. Let me see, maybe something like that. And we're basically we're basically done. Now I will merge everything together into one layer with the Shift Control Alt T or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And then I will go to Filter and uh, Camera Row Filter. And we are finalizing the image right here. Just some short, uh, quick uh, color grading. So let's add a little bit of the contrast. I like to open the shadows a little bit, add a clarity and go and add some vignetting just a little bit and I want to sharpen the image a little bit so uh, I'm now pressing ultra option key to see how much detail will I sharp so I like something like this okay and we can play with split toning we can add some bluish tint in shadows something like maybe this and even if we want you can add some reddish in highlights if you want to go for that kind of look why not so now we will make impression that this is uh, the, the, there is no ink that this is actually skin but if we go out of this and out of this this is oh yeah, again, again we can have that impression so but I like this bluish bluish tint and let me see this is not not bad at all let's go back and basically guys we can play with this really really long but here we will stop it and let me show you, this is before, this is after color correction and this is overall before and after. So really good results, you can be really creative with that and you can achieve a lot of great results. Imagine that you can add some, I don't know, some skeleton uh, tattoo or some other crazy shapes uh, and, and uh, animals and things to a face or whole body or everything. You can really make interesting results and you can then put your photo on Instagram, get a ton of likes for that and have fun. Right guys, and that's basically it for this episode. I really hope that you learned something new and interesting today. We had some really cool techniques and you can implement that, those techniques in your work to achieve better results, not just by adding a tattoo on a human skin. You can add some textures to other elements like to the wall, to I don't know, any kind of things. Just play, it's similar technique. So have fun with that. And if you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please uh, ask me down there in the comments. I will be happy to answer all your questions if I know answer to everything. Otherwise, guys, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And you can support me in that way to make these tutorials, to continue making them because I'm giving this all for free. And in that way, you can support me with $1 per month or anything you choose. And you can get some rewards. You can get my PSD files and other things. Depends how much you want to support me. Okay, if you like this tutorial and appreciate it, press that like button down below because it will matter. It will actually matter for, for the video and for the channel and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not already and ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. And one more thing, guys, for you guys who left all the way till the end, please read the description because I got a ton of questions where can I find uh, download, uh, images to download, to work with? Where can I find uh, this and that, etc., etc.? Everything is down there in the description. So don't be lazy, read the description. All right? Thank you guys for watching this episode and see you in the next one. Bye bye.